Welcome back. Let's check in on sports news with Charles Aruka. Welcome to sports news. The International Boxing Association has ruled that professional boxers can feature at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. The decision was made today with 84 of the 88 member federations voting in favor of IBA's proposal to amend eligibility rule 13J. In football, champions Inyimba have slipped in their title push in the Nigeria Professional Football League after they lost 3-1 at Wiki Tourists. The home win meant Wiki toppled Rivers United from the top on 31 points, while Enyimba slipped to third place on 30 points with a game in hand, and perennial underachievers Enugu Rangers fumbles to a 2-0 defeat at the hands of host El Kanemi Warriors in Meduguri. Agbenga Ogumbote has resigned as coach of Giwa Football Club of Joss. Ogumbote tells Channels Television that he loves the club but wants to... Uh, wants a change. The former 3SC coach joined Giwa Football Club this season but has struggled to achieve stability with the team due to some of the off-field issues. In North America, Mexican police have confirmed the arrest of two suspects in the kidnapping of Mexican international Alan Polido in Tamaulipas. Police say Polido escaped his kidnappers by punching the one guarding him, snatching a cell phone and calling for help. That's it on Sports News. Back to Amarachi with the rest of the news at 10. At least 10 people have been killed after a suicide car bomb crashed it. Car bomb, I beg your pardon, crashed his vehicle into a gate outside a hotel frequented by lawmakers in the center of the Somali capital, Mogadishu. Confirming the incident, a Mogadishu police officer, Colonel Ali Mohammed, said the hotel on Maka Al Mukaram Road was hit by a car bomb that rammed its gate. Al Qaeda affiliated Al Shabaab militants have claimed responsibility for the attack. And the main news again. The militants group Niger Delta Avengers today claimed responsibility for another attack on Chevron's oil facility in Wari, Delta State, despite heavy security presence in the area. That's News at 10 tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani.